Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear students and friends, my name is Dr. Rahim Bakshumuru, and I am working as an associate professor, Shahbati University, Pakistan. So, as you know, that I have started a uh, SPC training series. Uh, in the first lecture, uh, I discuss about the introduction of the species, and uh, in the second video, I provided the practically uh, I discuss practically the different. Uh, uh, options which are available in the software. So today I'm going to discuss another uh, important aspect of the species that is about the getting familiar with a species menu and icon. So let's discuss this uh, important. Uh, in this one, uh, the first thing is about when you open uh, the species, you will find several uh, type of the things over there. Uh, in this one, the first one is your file. If you open the file, uh, you will find the different type of the options over here, like the new, open, import data, how to save data, and these type of options are there. Uh, this menu basically provides you the how to open, how to save, and how to close uh, your file after working in it. And then uh, you, sometimes you are also required to open uh, a new, to, to have a new file. You can do it. Uh, open this old file or save or save uh, uh, save the whatever the work which you have, you have done uh, in your file. And and the, another thing is save. Sometimes you want to save the same uh, file uh, with a different name at the same location or uh, with the same name. At the different location. So these things you can do uh, in the file. And then uh, another is your edit. In the edit menu, you can do the different type of the work. Like the you can do uh, your work, like that you can uh, undo whatever you have done. You can redo. And uh, sometimes you may be required to cut or copy or option. These things you can do. Uh, in your in this menu and uh, apart from this one the certain other options are also available in this one so uh, this is the like the theoretical uh, lecture and when we will go for the practical then we discuss all these things uh, uh, briefly uh, in the in my next video because it is uh, I have st started one strategy that the first I provide you the theoretical uh, uh, overview of the the part of the, the aspect of the, the uh, of this species, and then in another window, I will do it practically in a clear concepts. And then another is a view. In the view, allow, this allows you to uh, increase or decrease or change the font size, aid or remove the grill lines, and then sometimes you want to whether to display your data, raw data or the label. So you, you can do all these things in this one. Sometimes you want to have a status bar, toolbar, editor menu, and all these. So these things you can do in the view. And then another is about your data. And so this tab is only about the how to manage your data. Several options are given over there. So all these options are especially designed to handle your data. Sometimes we require to connect the data. Sometimes we want to combine the two data set into the one data set. Sometimes we want to validate the data. Sometimes we need to create a sum menu. Sometimes we, we require to define the variable, uh, copy the data, and all these things you can do in all these ones. And then, uh, like this example of the data, which of the following source do you rely for the news? So there are different sources are there normally which on which we uh, we rely. Like the big source is your print media and electronic media news channels which are working, and uh, like the open uh, media is also there. Like the social media, Facebook, Twitter, these other also there, and like just like that your friend may tell you some uh, news are there. So which source you are believing? So now this thing you can do, and uh, sometimes we need to require to transpose uh, our uh, the means transpose needs to shift uh, from one condition to another condition. Like the uh, sometimes we want to convert the rows into the column and vice versa. So you can do all these things in your data, and then the transform 
So this uh, in, another uh, option is get in the, fun, uh, the function of this menu and give you several options to change the current variable. For example, you can change the continuous variable into the categorical and vice versa. Change is score rank and uh, add the constant variable you can do. You can compute variable, you can record in the same variable or in the different variable. You can rank your cases in all these. So now normally these are the options which are available when you are going to work on the transform icon. And then analyze is another, is a very important uh, is the, uh, aspect because every time we are required to go on this one uh, like that because whenever we want to apply any technique we have to open this type of the window and you will find that several type of the different uh, options are the techniques are available to you and the different techniques you can apply and in this regard uh, the like the historical analysis calculate description uh, you can uh, analyze any type of the test on your data you can apply and if you want to have a descriptive uh, or description of your uh, detail of, of uh, for your variable you can go through this one and then uh, another thing is about the graph, very important. And most of the time, we also uh, like to have a graph because uh, it's very difficult to, uh, to understand the real uh, result in the tabular form. Because sometimes table is very, maybe very much big, and it is uh, it is in black and white. There are no only color. So that means that most of the time, the table does not uh, attract the attention if you compare with a graph in graph there are different colors are there different type of the uh, figures are over there so they are getting more attention of the uh, readers researchers in comparing the tabular form of your data so that's why both uh, your uh, graphs are very important to prepare so that's why most of the time we are in this graph, normally we can we are uh, making uh, uh, there four type of the box plot, histogram, line graph, and bar chart. In the way, important, two important things are there which I want to discuss here. The first one is a chart builder. This is a new option in this one. Then in this one you can build the chart according to your own need. And alternatively, the GC graph are also available, which are all. So in this one, if you open all these ones. Now that it will ask from you, okay, simple R, uh, because one variable or two or three variable like this one, and then you are required to insert the data. And because already the, all the things are given over there, just you are required to select it and insert your data. But alternatively, in this here, you can uh, edit the graph according to your own needs. So this is a difference between these two. You can work on this one, and then. Uh, utilities are there, different type of the, like the file information in file which you are using. So if you want to get the uh, file information about all these files, then the, these uh, uh, options are available to you. And the, sometimes you want to have a label, values, location. And so all these things you can do with the help of all these type of the techniques. And then uh, extensions are there. So our program that can be added, different extensions are available which you can add with your uh, in your species, if you want to work. Uh, one example, for example, I'm giving you, uh, I'm, uh, there is a Professor Andrew Heiss. Uh, he has developed a one uh, extension, uh, like uh, Airsong. If you install this one into your species, then with the help of this extension, you can perform the radiation and the moderation in the species. So without this one, I think you cannot uh, do the same type of work in your space. If you want to do the moderation and edit, then, then you are required to uh, add this add on uh, this extension in your app, and then you can do it. Uh, window is also there where you can uh, uh, shift from the data editor to uh, other one, or you can also shift to the view. You can also go to viewer or syntax, and uh, uh, so these things you can do uh, in the window. And last but not the least, very important help. Help is available, and uh, when you are doing uh, any technique, and sometimes if you are un unable to understand, then if you click this button, several options will be available to you. And the one option is there that if you click it, that one, then it will uh, lead you to to another uh, uh, the Mr. Draw, uh, the Mr. Another browser will open, and the link will open in the in the browser, and the link will provide you all the detail 
regarding the deck technique. So, dear students, this is all about today's uh, uh, this software. I hope that this one has you helped you a lot. And uh, if uh, there needs to, I hope that needs to, you will continue to watch my videos. And uh, so, inshallah, and then again, we are meeting in the uh, theoretical, uh, sorry, in the practical session of this one. In the next video, I will discuss the, all these uh, buttons which are used, menus. Uh, practically in the next video. Till that time, thank you very much for watching this video. Allah.